Hey guys, I hope you're fine and doing well today. In this video, I will discuss two of the best stocks for 2x returns. One of these is in the price discovery phase and is trading extremely volatility. I first bought this stock at 110 and it dipped to $80 within a week. But you will be surprised to know that later it jumped to 190 in just 3 weeks. This translates to more than 2x returns in 3 weeks time. Profit taking on the higher side was recommended and now, once again, it is trading near attractive levels and I am interested in buying with a 2x target in mind. Because the fundamentals are strong and the growth numbers are astronomical. Also, there is another good thing about this stock and that is options premium, covered calls and buying and selling puts is extremely lucrative. And the second stock of the day is the favorite stock of KTVO that can surprise many investors and can 2x this year if it avoids diluting shareholders. But before going into details, just a quick announcement. I will be revealing my next 10x Alzheimer stock play on Wednesday for our Discord members. If you are interested to receive early alerts on potential multi-bagger stocks with full buying selling guidance, then consider joining on Discord through Patreon. Our Discord members got early alerts on stocks like Biogen near 288 before it jumped to 460, Sawa near 10 before it jumped to 120, and Anoist, they got an early alert near 25 before it jumped to 97. I am not saying that every pick is 3x or 10x guaranteed. Comparing the downside of some of the stock picks with the upside of my unique picks is huge. The link to join our Discord through Patreon is given in the description down below. Now first on the list is none other than Upstart Holdings, Nasdaq ticker symbol UPST. UPST is a pretty volatile stock and is in the phase of price discovery, and now provides an excellent opportunity to take entry. The company is an artificial intelligence based lending platform with the sole purpose of providing affordable credit slash loans by partnering up with banks by evaluating credit worthiness using parameters such as education and employment to name a few. The lending market in which the company is operating has a great potential. Here's an interesting fact about UPST. At the current share price, UPST is trading at a market cap of around $9 billion. The company is reporting astronomical growth numbers. The net income in Q1 of 2021 showed growth of 870% as compared to Q4 of 2020 on whereas this translates to 620% year over year growth. Company earned a net income of $10.1 million in just the first quarter of 2021. This isn't it for 2021. The management expects to earn $600 million in revenue that is more than 100% as compared to last year. The company's first quarter of 2021 net income was $10.1 million, which translates to more than $40 million in net income in the year 2021, and that will be more than 560% growth in net income over a year. The share price has already doubled since March 2021. This level of growth will re-rate the stock, and it will be a well-growing stock of the time. The price target by four Wall Street analysts is set at $143.25 per share on average with a high price target of $190 per share that is more than 50% upside from the current price. 56.24% of the shares are held by institutions, whereas 20.13% are held by insiders. To keep up this pace, the company needs new catalysts, and it likely has them. Upstart is now offering its platform technology to auto financiers to capture a piece of the single largest lending segment after housing. Total auto loans in the US grew to $1.37 trillion in 2020, and car shortages have led to higher prices and pent-up demand across the board. The company has trailing 12-month revenue of $290 million, so the stock currently trades at a revenue multiple of roughly 38, which is even higher than Tesla's. With the growth opportunities Upstart is expecting, the company has the opportunity to grow its way into a less intimidating multiple over the next few years. But if you're buying it today, Upstart must deliver. The company recently announced impressive earnings of first quarter of 2021. The revenue has been reported as $121 million, that is up by 90% on year-over-year -year basis. You will be surprised to know that the income from operations has been reported at $15.6 million, and that is up by 2,617% in the first quarter of 2021, as compared to $0.6 million in the same quarter of previous year. Similarly, net income has been reported as 10.1 in the first quarter of 2021, that is up by 620% as compared to the 1.5 million in the same quarter of previous years. The company assets have been up by 40% on a year-over-year -year basis. Lending volume has increased from 30,998 loans in Q1 2019 to 169750 loans in Q1 2021. Transaction volume, the total principal of loans transacted on the platform, went from $369 million in Q1 2019 to $1.73 billion in Q1 2021. 
The USP of the company is its exceptional business model, which has two facets. The company charges a fee from the banks to bring loan requests on the basis of an AI model, whereas it has also created its own platform for attracting customers through its website. The company behaves like a middleman, which helps both parties in the lending process and charges a fee. Other fintech companies such as Square, PayPal, and SoFi make the customers dependent on their own ecosystem, whereas Upstar does not bind anyone. Its AI-based platform is available for everyone to use and get loans. As per the CEO of the company, it is better to provide choices to customers instead of binding them to their ecosystems. Upstar does not have the intention to be a bank. It aims at being the best AI-based technology company that helps people get loans easily. The main feature that differentiates the company from the rest of the market is the use of the AI tech which is bound to provide better results as compared to the currently present models. One of the biggest advantages is its low cost when being used at a large scale, has better reliability, provides higher conversion rates of customers, and decreased default chances for banks. Additionally, the company will perform much better as the world is advancing in the artificial technology field. It is worth noting that this company is the pioneer of using AI in this domain, providing it with the advantage of huge useful data. Moreover, they have a keen focus on the betterment of the AI lending mechanism, which could provide substantial results. Next on the list is KT was long hold and favorite pick Palantir Technologies Incorporated, NYSE ticker symbol PLTR. KT's ARK Innovation ETF, ARK, holds over 22 million shares of PLTR, valued at around $569 million, whereas ARK Next Generation Internet ETF, ARKW, holds 5 million shares, valued at around $134 million. This makes a total of 27 million shares valued at around $703 million. KT Wood is so confident on this pick that its ARC has not missed any month in which it hasn't bought PLTR shares since October 2020. The stock is currently trading at 25.37 per share with a market cap of $47.6 billion. PLTR has comparatively less institutional holdings as its CEO also explained that the company appeals to individual investors. Palandrin is investing aggressively in SPACs backing digital health, aviation, and robotic companies. One of its investments is in a robotic company Sarcos, an EVOTL or electric vehicle takeoff and landing jet company Lilium, an automotive data exchange platform and technology company Visio, a biotech company Cellularity, a venture capitalist Rowan, and a healthcare company Babylon Health. This crazy investment in SPACs has many reasons. These SPACs are not only forming strategic partners, but Palantir is building a portfolio of potentially transformational companies. Palantir is building a farm from which it can harvest talent. These companies have become much more valuable for Palantir and their disruptive technology is becoming the norm more rapidly, which means more data needs refining, which means that Palantir services are more important and Palantir becomes more valuable. There are few businesses which have the value proposition matching what Palantir offers to rapidly growing data companies. Due to this value, I believe that Palantir will continue to invest in promising data companies and that it will consequently lead to achieve its goal of becoming the central operating system of the modern enterprise. Following KT Wood's continuous edition of PLTR in her portfolio, I am holding Palantir stocks waiting for the upcoming catalysts, because Palantir is targeting investments generational trends, like cryptocurrency and or DeFi, as well as augmented reality and virtual reality and the metaverse. The CEO of Palantir, Alex Karp, stated that the company 17 years ago is often coded to be unconventional, but Palantir has some of the best people in its core team, such as Peter Thiel, who happens to be the co-founder of PayPal as well as Palantir itself. Another notable name is Joe Lonsdale, a famous tech investor who said that the quarterly results were not clearly understood. He is hopeful about the company when he said that they are going to crush the shorts. Another competent name associated with the Palantir is Stephen Cohen, who is also the co-founder of the company and is known for documenting the early prototype of the Palantir platform at the age of 23. Palantir has anticipated revenue of $1.8 billion for the upcoming 12 months. The company showed a revenue growth of 47% in the year past with an anticipated forecast of 47% for the first quarter. The Q1 growth of revenue was reported to be 49%. At the moment, the company is aiming for a 43% growth in revenue year on year in the present quarter, but it is believed that the growth will be much greater than this. The company improved drastically in terms of free cash flow margin, which increased from negative in 2020 to 34%. A decrease in deferred revenue balance in Q1 was reported, but there was an increase of around 4.7% in the remaining performance obligation. An increase of 248% was observed in calculating billings on a year-to-year -year basis, along with an increase of around 129% in the RPO balance. 